lines of, you know, women, let, let, me, let me direct it towards the husbands real quick. This is something I'm learning. I'm very young, and, and I, I'm learning through a mistake, these lessons um, that I'm probably going to make when I go home after this. <laughs> but, men, your wife is what you create her to be. Your wife is what you create her to be. Um, you know, that he might cleanse her, sanctify her by the washing of water with the word. The church is what Jesus Christ creates the church to be. Amen. And so Jesus Christ creates the church to be pure and spotless and blameless and a virgin above reproach. And so men, our job is to cleanse our wives, sanctify our wives. She is the responder. We are the initiator. She is the responder. We are the initiator. We are the lovers. She is the submitter. The respecter. We are the lovers. We lead through love. And here's a powerful, powerful picture that, that I've never forgotten ever since I heard this um, through a sermon. He said, for men, husbands, when Jesus Christ judges you, okay, on the day of judgment, he judges you, and for us, we don't have to fear condemnation, and so referring to our rewards and, and so on. When he judges us based upon our life on earth, you are so responsible for your wife, he doesn't even need you there. He can just look at your wife. And all he has to do is judge your wife. And the judgment he places on your wife will be a reflection of what you did on earth. How effective you were in your Christianity on earth. And so, men, I mean, that picture is just a powerful picture that has stayed with me ever since I heard it. Let it stay with you. You are so responsible for your wives. What she is when she meets Jesus is what you are. Nothing more, nothing less. So create her to be the woman that God would have her to be. Amen? Amen. Yeah, question? You talk about a powerful picture. I'll give you another image, and one day I may talk about this. But uh, anybody ever go to an air show? Andy, you want to come up? I think it's being recorded. Oh. Am I being recorded? <laughs> Another powerful image. Uh, have you ever been to an air show? You see the airplanes flying side by side, okay? And they're putting on a show for the people on the ground, and they say, ooh, that looks great, okay? What's the image to the rest of the world we're presenting as a couple? Now, when I started, I, some of you might know I used to fly in the U.S. Air Force, and I, I, I used to fly in formation. Okay, and I would share with you one day all the ramifications. You do not know the responsibility of flying 500 miles an hour, three feet, three feet away from another airplane. You blink, you're in trouble. Okay, now picture that as a lead and wing. Okay, if that wingman is looking good, it's not because you knew how to fly formation, because I thought that was the hardest position to fly when I was learning how to fly formation. Oh my, can I stay in here? Can I, can I be where I need to be here? But, but that was easy once I learned how to fly on a wing. The important thing is, in order to look good, it's all based on what that leader does. Okay, so when we go, and when you're looking at that air show, you need to understand everything that goes into making that look so good. There's so much stuff going on, and you and your spouse, there's so much stuff going on to make it look good to the world. It's, it's, it's amazing what has to happen. And, and, and one day I'll share all. And it, it's so beautiful, the picture of what happens in a flight like that and what happens to a couple when they're married. It's, it's, an, it's an image that you would never forget. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Okay, so I want to give you three practical um, steps on how to equip the saints, equip people in the church, your disciples, your wives, your husbands, your children. How do we equip the saints for the work of the ministry, okay? So the first one, the first practical step, three A's, three A's. The first one is attention. Attention. You know, being in the same room with, with somebody is not being present, necessarily. Presence involves engagement. Being in the same room, just doing your own thing, that's, that's not presence. It's engagement. Are you engaging with that person in the same room? And so first thing is attention. You got to give attention. Give attention to your children. 
Give attention to your, your wife. I mean, this is something that I, have, I kick myself all the time. Because, you know, I think to myself, did I... Gosh, I've been working for six hours. I haven't even thought about Ashley in six hours. I haven't, I, haven't call, I, I, haven't, I don't call her enough when I'm at work. You know, I don't text her enough. And so these simple things, you know, are attention. <laughs> attention. Are we showing attention to our spouses, our, our, our family, our marriages, our disciples? The, third, the second one is affirmation. Affirmation. Man, words of affirmation, kind words, upbuilding words, edifying words. You know, you're amazing, you're great. You know, those text messages that, 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 that tell your spouse something you admire about them. Uh, or, you know, one of the habits that me and Ashley are getting into, man, we are, we are not ones to boast in this. You know, doing family devotions and stuff, we will be the first to admit it is a struggle. You know, we're, we're not some perfect people in this regard. Uh, but one of the things that we're getting in the habit of doing is before, right after we put the kids to bed, we have prayer chairs. We have two chairs, and uh, we call them our prayer chairs. And so right afterwards, no matter what, no, ma no matter if we just got an argument or whatever, we sit on those prayer chairs, and we're we try to be disciplined, and to sit on those prayer chairs, and we pray. We ask for each other prayer requests and so on. And... You know, I lead it because I'm the man. So I lead this. I try to lead it, even though she still helps me sometimes. Sometimes I'm on the couch watching something, and she's like, remember? <laughs> you know, so, she does that a lot, so I don't take credit, full credit. But So one of the things as a leader that I do, e equipping my wife, training my wife, is that I have her pray every other day. So I'm not just the one who prays. I'll have her pray. And so I'll have her pray, and she prays. She's an amazing prayer uh, person. And she'll pray, and instead of just saying amen at the end of it, I tell her, man, that was a great prayer. That was an awesome prayer. Man, you were, you were so great in your prayers. I'll just say words like that. And so affirmation, you know, when, when, when we have the, the marriage dance, when we had the marriage dance, you guys attend that one? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, Rob and Steve, the team, did a f fantastic job leading at me. Um, and then Ashley came out of nowhere that night. Now, I didn't plan, we didn't plan on that. We didn't plan on, beforehand, I didn't say, okay, Ashley, you're going you're gonna to lead with me. You're going to be responsible for this and this and this. I, I, frankly, I just told her, just come and, and just be with me and have a good time. But she really just took charge during that night, and she, she came up with some great ideas. She, she helped the, you know, the, the, the movement of the night. Uh, you know, it was her idea to do the whole um, Michael Jackson thriller thing that she wanted on. That was, that was her idea. And you know what? That brought us closer. I, had seen, I saw a side of her that I had never seen before. You know, we're... Here we, yeah, well, no, I won't. Oh, 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 it was nice one line. I won't. Pastor Caleb, you're turning right. <laughs> but, but that, doing ministry together, that brought us closer. And I saw a side of her that I'd never seen before. And so that's what we're encouraging you to do. We're encouraging you to just get involved more. We're encouraging you to be equipped more, to equip others more in this ministry. As we head into 2014, you know, be involved as much as you can. You know, take on a disciple. Take on a younger married couple. Get involved. And it's going to be the best thing for your marriage. It really, you know, I think to myself, I don't know how Christian marriages last. The, the typical American Christian marriage where you kind of just come to church twice a, a month. And you just, that's the only time you come to church and you, you experience the things of God and you just go home and you just live your, a norm, you live like a practical atheist the rest of the, the days and, and uh, you know, you just come to church every, I, I don't know, God bless those marriages that last for more than three years. Because one of the greatest, one of the greatest incentives for me to continue to just endure and persevere and love her is like, she said it. I gotta pray for somebody in three hours, and I can't pray for that person if I'm at it. And I, I gotta witness. I gotta go to the courthouse tomorrow morning. And God knows, 
I'm not about to look like a fool with my wife mad at me at home. So now I look like a fool, not only at the courthouse, but at home too. I look like a fool. <laughs> you know, so, so it's just being involved in ministry will really, really help, help you endure Amen. in your marriage. Constant involvement in ministry. Yeah, and I just want to add that it's God's way of keeping us married. Each and every one of us, because he calls us to make disciples, because he calls us to pour into the lives of others, that it should not be looked at as a drudgery or a duty, but it, it should be looked at as a delight. And thank you, Lord, for one of your yes. many ways Amen. of keeping yeah. the grace in our own marriage, because that's what ministry as a couple does. That's what ministry together does. It unites you, you and your spouse. And it allows you to walk away from, um, you know, whether it's a dinner or a prayer session with another couple, you look at each other and you just say, man, the Lord is good. The Lord is good for pouring his grace in our life and the ability to minister to others. So that's one way, think of it, that the Lord prevents divorce in your life. Yeah. It's one way he keeps you married. So we really want to encourage you, if you're not doing anything now, find something, whether it's starting off small, finding one couple, whether it's maybe it's just a, a phone call that you and your, your uh, spouse do, you know, with FaceTime, it's awesome these days, you can kind of do anything, so, um, or a Facebook page, that's great, so we want to encourage you to change your perspective on doing ministry as a couple, find something you both like, you both agree on, something that's going to unite you and keep you married, that's, that's the Lord's grace in doing that. Amen. Amen.